What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and I'm showing you the new EFI BIOS on ASUS's Z170A motherboard. Now this BIOS is pretty much the same or I'll, you know, it looks the same, it has a little different design, but almost all the features are pretty much the same as what we saw from ASUS's Z97 series. There has been some things added, but it's pretty much the same, same feel. Um, in our opinion, that was the best BIOS that we saw on the Z97 series, so we expect this one to be just as good. So when you first get into the BIOS here, the, you're gonna be in what they call easy mode. Has a lot of really quick uh, options that you can kind of choose from and some information that you can see. So up top, we have information on our motherboard and the BIOS version. So if you're looking to update the BIOS, you're not sure which version, you can see that right here. Has our processor and our processor speed and our memory and our memory speed. Um, also has our DRAM status. It shows you the speeds and what DIMM slots your memory is in. Your SATA information over here. CPU temperature is being read out in real time. Same with your CPU, CPU core voltage and your motherboard temperature. You can turn on in, Intel Rapid Store technology by just clicking over there and you can select your XMP profile if your RAM supports it. And then here you can see live um, temperature or live fan speed readings here. We don't have any fans because we're using liquid cooling. So you don't see that there. And you can actually set your Q fan control right in here as well. Over here, we have easy system tuning. What that allows you to do is, you know, set a quiet performance mode, a performance mode, or an energy saving mode. So, you know, if you're trying to just do some quick overclocking or even quick underclocking, it can be done right there. And then we have our boot priority, so you can set what is gonna boot first. Um, this is just easy settings that you can kinda do if you're not really, you know, sure what to do in the BIOS. This gives you everything that you're pretty much gonna need to change if you're building a new system. Now, if you want to get out of easy mode, you can just hit F7. And now we're in the advanced mode, and this is everything that you're going to need to overclock, to tune your system, all that stuff. So your main thing right here, or the main uh, tab, this just shows you all the information, everything that's going on with your system, and you can select your language as well. We'll go to the My Favorites first, and... Um, What's interesting about my favorites is before on the previous version of the BIOS, um, my favorites, you had to populate yourself. You couldn't, uh, you know, just you had to pick what went into the my favorites menu. Now your most used um, options, the options that you change the most are actually you know, populated in the My Favorites. So it just makes it a lot easier. Um, you don't really have to mess with adding things to your favorites. You can if you want to, but this just makes it so it's auto-populated with your most used options. We'll go over to AI Tweaker here, and this is where you can go ahead and set everything for overclocking and for fine-tuning your system. Um, one thing I've always liked about the AI Tweaker, it gives you your target speeds. So if you're changing different settings around, you can see what your target um, turbo mode frequency, your DRAM frequency, and your cache frequency will be. So we have all of that stuff to overclock your system. And if we go down, you can set up your different DRAM timings. You can go ahead and set up your DigiPlus VRM. It's power delivery, um, internal CPU power management. So that's all the different power settings that go along with your CPU. And we have a tweaker's paradise here. And that is a lot of really in-depth stuff to do with power delivery and voltages and all of that stuff with your CPU. And if we go down, we can get into all of our voltages and all of that and set your voltages and, and all that fun stuff you can do here. So if you really want to fine tune your system, you can do that in AI Tweaker. The advanced mode, that's all the information or all of the configuration settings to do with everything that's on the motherboard. So if you go down, you can see CPU, platform, system agent, PCH, PCH storage, USB, network stack, onboard devices, APM, HDD, SSD, smart information, which is actually cool. This is a new thing that's built into this is the smart information can be read by the BIOS now. So if you're like a storage enthusiast or something like that, you can actually read the smart information on your drives, which is pretty cool. And then we have the Intel Thunderbolt configuration down there. I'm not gonna go into all these because these are pretty much the same on pretty much all the different motherboards and different BIOSes. Uh, if we go into monitor, we have some cool stuff. So. One thing that's really cool about this BIOS is that it's gonna give you your readouts in real time. So you can see how everything changed there on our readouts. Now, what you can actually do 
is you can set it to monitor these or to ignore them. So like we don't have our CPU fan connected right here. So it says NA because we have a pump connected. We can actually go ahead and ignore that. Um, one thing that we can see here is our water pump speed. So this motherboard actually has a uh, dedicated AIO pump header. Instead of your CPU fan header, you use this, um, and we'll, I'll show you why in a second, but it's really cool that you're able to go ahead and actually monitor that. And we can go down and you can see all of our speeds and all of our voltages. Now, QFAN configuration, this is where you can configure all of the headers on your um, motherboard. So if you wanna fine tune all of your fans and all of that, you can actually set your uh, fan step up the time in seconds and the step down time. Um, it's one of the most in-depth ways to really configure your fans. And you can do that with all of the fans. It's really, really cool. Um, you can set all of this up for all the different fan headers on the board. It's really, like I said, really, really in-depth. And you can fine tune these with the software as well. Just makes it really, really cool. Um, and you can do water pump control, which is actually really cool. So that dedicated fan header, you actually have settings for it. It's just not plugged in and running at full speed. We have it disabled, so it runs at full speed all the time. But you can actually set it to like a DC mode. Um, and then you have different, you can see here, you, could, you have different uh, settings. And then of course, PWM mode as well you have the different settings that you can set for the water pump itself. You know, if your water pump, uh, your AIO doesn't have software built in, this is basically like the software that you can fine tune the pump and everything like that. Really, really cool. So we'll change that back and we'll go over to boot. And of course, this is just all the information and everything, all your settings to set up your boot and your boot uh, option priorities, which means what boot devices are gonna boot first, all that stuff. And then you can do boot override over here. So if you need to like say, you wanna boot from a flash drive, but obviously you don't wanna change your boot priority. So when it um, boots again, it's gonna boot to the hard drive. You can just do boot override, double click on one of these, and they will go ahead and uh, boot from that drive once and then the next time you restart they won't boot from there obviously under tool we have a few things we have of course easy flash that allows you to flash uh your bios extremely easily with a usb thumb drive and they've actually added it i'll go into it and they've actually added it so that you can go ahead and um flash from the internet, um, which is actually really cool. So you don't need to download the, uh, the BIOS to a flash drive. You can actually do it from the internet, which is actually really cool. So it's actually really cool that you're able to do this. You have a secure erase feature as well. So you can secure erase different, you know, your hard drives and all of that. We have uh, ASUS overclocking, overclocking profile, which means you can save and load different BIOS settings for overclocking. Your SPD information, which um, just shows you all your information on your memory and moved over from the ROG boards is your graphics card information as well. Um, the uh, GPU post, which actually shows you in kind of a graphical user interface what kind of cards you have installed, where they are, and what they're running. So you can see our card is running at an X16 native speed. And of course, we have exit here as well. And that's just gonna, you can, you can load your optimized defaults. Of course, you can exit and all of that stuff. Um, other cool things that are on here that I didn't show you is we have our Quick Notes. Um, that was, I believe, introduced on Z87. And what Quick Notes allows me to go ahead and type in here. Um, if I'm overclocking, you know, I can type in didn't, didn't boot at five gigahertz. And I have that in there, it's saved. So when I go into the BIOS again, I can read my quick notes. You know, if I'm overclocking one day and then I have to go, you know, do something, I can go back in and see where I left off and have these notes for whatever it may be. I have them in here. So we'll just close that out. We also have the Q fan control. And what this allows you to do is just like the settings that I showed you, but it's, it's, it's in a more graphical user interface and it can show you the, all of your fans and what their fan curves are set at. And then you can actually optimize everything as well. Um, really well done BIOS. I really like it. And of course you can switch back to the easy mode by hitting F7 again, and it will switch back as you can see. 
Really great BIOS. Um, Asus has, has always really innovated when it comes to their BIOS and added things and made it really easy for the user. That's the biggest thing with this BIOS. You know, this easy mode pretty much has everything that you're gonna need if you're a first time user. Um, the biggest things when building your PC and booting up for the first time is you wanna set your boot device priority, which you can do right here. And you also want to set your XMP profile. You can go ahead and do that and you're good to go. You don't have to dive deep into the BIOS. But of course, if you want to dive deep into the BIOS, this BIOS has everything that you need to fine tune your system, to tweak it, to do all of that fun stuff. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And remember guys, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.